All right, what's going on you guys? We're back here at our local Goodwill outlet where you pay by the pound, not by the item. It is currently Friday and it is half price day. The line is very long. There's so many people here. There's a lot of people here. So hopefully we can find stuff. This is going to be for our $20 flip house. Everything that we find here, we're going to try and flip online for a profit and then put that back into our house. So yeah, come with us. Oh, anything good in here? I'm not sure though. No DS case, so no Nintendo DS. That's kind of cute. Some cool Legos, minifigures. Who's this? I don't really want all of them. I just want the minifigures. There's his head. Okay. Two mini figures and a little squish ball. Vacuum carrying case. Yeah. Carries all the accessories or something. Yeah. Got a little Ruka backpack here. RVCA. Just like canvas or something. Kind of cool. I've never seen a Ruka backpack. I've seen t-shirts and shorts and stuff like that. Got some fuzz on it, but good to go. Aurora, Merman. That might be good. Finally got something over here, I think. A little sack. Yeah, sack roots, purse. Should be in good shape. Kind of an interesting pattern to it as well. Oh, look at that cute little penguin. I also found this owl. Kind of cute. I'm gonna pass on the owl. It's a little dirty. Oh, cute. We have a Baron Stain or Baron Steen or whatever it is. Here's another one. We can lock those two together. Of course, build a bear. In good condition. It's just kind of a weird day. I mean, there's a lot of stuff here, but it's just like, I don't know, not a lot to choose from. Oh, it's one of those little mini trash cans for a second, guys. I got one of those. <laughs> got a little jug here. You guys know I've been a sucker for jugs. Jug or crock? I'm gonna call it a jug. I'm gonna put it in here and hopefully it doesn't break. Antique archaeology, that's from uh, American Pickers. Can you name me that beaver mask right there? Thank you. I think it's a beaver. Why not? Hold on. A little kitty here. Something. Can get that. Here's a beer Bradley right here. A little like tote bag. No issues on the handles. No internal stains. It's an interesting looking bag. It's got like a rainbow zipper. Maybe handmade. And it's got a little pouch inside. I'm gonna pick that up just because of like the style and the pattern. Tinkerbell Secret Garden Disney Showcase. Interesting. Okay, I watch y'all all the time. Oh, awesome. I appreciate that. Oh There's wow! One. <laughs> it's in China. I watched that. China and like... so the last one we found are fake because it's supposed to have the Rothy's logo right there, and okay. ours just said Rothy's. So see. So yeah, There's this one. that's a real Maybe one. Maybe should find the other one. Yeah. And then what about Masters? Cups. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. But every time you order a beer at the Masters, they give you one of these cups for free, basically. But then they gotcha. they don't sell for a ton of money. But I I left all mine because I didn't want to carry them around with me. Sure. And I was like, man, I wish I would have brought one home. So yeah, I'm gonna keep that. What about Masters for you? No. Um, I was gonna put it back. Normally, yeah, it's just big, and we have yeah, a lot of stuff in the booth right now. Yeah, I saw the book. I was like, I'm tired of carrying stuff, yeah. so I'm like, oh. It's also, where'd you find the Rafi at? 
Um, it was back that way. Back that way? Okay. Yeah. And again, okay. it's the only one. It wasn't in a shoe bin, so yeah. it may be a hit or miss. You may or may not. Well, it's worth looking for. Yeah, sure. I think. Thank you. I really appreciate that. What's your name? Dina. Dina? Awesome. Yeah. Are, where are you from here? I'm out for Pillion. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I visited y'all's booth a lot, so. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. Good to talk to you. Got this little wooden candlestick here. It's kind of cool. It's kind of heavy, but it is half off day, so it'll only be like maybe two dollars. I'll get that for the booth. These little salt and pepper shakers are cute. They're little gourds. It's half off day, and glass is only twenty-five cents a pound. So I think they would ring it up half price, so like twelve and a half cents a pound. So like. I doubt those salt and pepper shakers would cost anything, I think. All right, got some more plush over here. Got a little aerial. What's this? Disney Lightyear? Huh. Need some cleaning, but I'm gonna grab that. We got a little monkey squishmallow or gorilla. Okay, I just found this guy. Struggling to remember who this is, but he does have a Disney tag, so I'm gonna grab him. We got a troll doll right here, like the one with the super colorful hair. Good one wanted three dollars for her, but now I can grab her for basically free with the rest of my plush I have. <laughs> we got a big rooster. Kind of cool, actually. No, it's not a character or anything. Oh, what is this? Spies in disguise. Weird chicken looking thing. I'm gonna grab him. We got this bag here. It's definitely leather, but the only issue is I don't see a logo anywhere. I mean, I'll still get it, I guess, but a bag of this quality usually have a logo somewhere. What does it say? Texan? I don't know if that's the logo of the purse or just like a brand. Just make sure the zippers work. Yeah, it works. I'll get that. No brand, but definitely leather. Look at this bush. It's like a unicorn or something with a box of Fruit Loops. It's hilarious. Oh, look at this. Please, please be the match. Look at there. Oh my gosh, it's just sitting there on the end. Same size, good condition. It's crazy. I gotta go show Haley. Haley. Yeah. Nice. It was in the uh, the far bin over there. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Is this flounder? It is. Oh, look at flounder. Well, Disney Company, Korea. I will take that. But this is a big squish mallow. A little dirty. Definitely needs some cleaning. Squish juice. Not that I need him. This is my bag so full. It's what's his name from Madagascar. He's dirty. He's definitely dirty, but yeah. I'm gonna grab him. Alright, getting a bag from my plush. Anything good? Lots of plush. The sack. Definitely grab that. From Macy's. Oh, sorry. Oh, bowls. I'll grab these. Thank you. Grab this too. Be a Bradley duffel bag. Yeah. Is there anything wrong with that? I found this. I think it's old. It's made in India. It's a brass umbrella holder, but it's hand painted. This thing's got some really nice graphics and color to it. Let me get that. So we're going through all of our stuff. We got the plush bag going. We've got Haley's bag with a little bit of my stuff in it, and then my bag over here. We need we do need to separate out the glass because uh, they might charge glass differently today. And Haley found this case. I Dyson. thought it was for a vacuum because it said Dyson, but uh, upon further review, this is actually for one of those Dyson air wrap things, like the, yeah, the, like the blow dryers. dryers. Yeah. Um, comps are kind of all over the place. As low as like fifteen dollars plus shipping on auction, but there are a couple sold for like fifty to seventy dollars plus shipping. We'll get it either way. It'll probably cost like two bucks. We'll maybe get 15 or 20 dollars for it. I think it's worth it. Oh, yeah. got a lot to go. I mean, yeah. pretty decent. Got some good plush. Yeah. yeah. 
There's a huge line today. Only one cashier on the, the busiest day of the week, but we eventually got rang up and we got this whole bag of plush, my bag of random stuff, Haley's bag of random stuff, and it cost us a total of $22.74. So I found some pretty good stuff at the bins today. Nothing too crazy. Obviously, it's not the same day. I've changed clothes, but we're here at the antique mall. Got to do a little quarter check. We're not restocking anything today. I don't really remember if we got anything in today's video that is for the antique booth. I think we did. Uh, but we've also sold a couple things at our antique booth since the last time we're here. Shout out Drew and Dalton. Came to see me for my birthday. Thanks, guys. Oh, they're building new walls. Making more booths soon. That's exciting. With the gumball machine, I've kind of given up on the toy section. We've been so busy with whatnot, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, all that stuff, that I haven't had a chance to do the whole toy situation, what I, what I told you about like two or three videos ago. So unfortunately, our toy section is totally empty in the gumball machine, but looks like the Skittles have been selling. I did restock the gumball. I want a Drew's, gumball. Drew's over here getting a quarter. All right, let's see. Check let's check the back and see. Oh yeah, if you don't mind that. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh, look at there. That's heavy. We got somebody, somebody dribbled, dribbled on that one. Well, that's so they can see their quarters on the video. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's count it out. 22 even 22 gumballs color now on the chart so it's the very next day i'm just coming out to the warehouse to draw in the gumball Ooh. chart for the 20 dollars and gumballs we sold yesterday but it turns out drew uh they're still here by the way but he has misplaced his car keys so now we're frantically looking for those any luck i can turn the light on for you this is actually the worst place to have left them because there's <laughs> so much stuff in here yeah i don't think they're in here either why would you have brought them in here I think if they were in here, they would be on this table, on the refrigerator, or over here. Yeah. You're silly, but you're not that silly to just throw them in a box. Gotta get you an air tag. So 20 gumballs getting colored in on our gumball chart. If you guys don't know, once we fill in all the gumballs here, each ball counts for $1. Uh, that will be $250, and that will be our break-even cost for the gumball machine. I'm going with brown. As always, a gumball chart coloring in session is sponsored by my reseller, Genie. The number one bookkeeping and accounting app for use, resellers use code dealing with Dalton no use code tornado while they do that for us I'll show you guys the aftermath of our two whatnot shows we did last night so they were like do you want to what do you want to do tonight because they came for to celebrate my birthday I was like why don't we just sell them whatnot because it'd be nice to have four people like running around grabbing stuff you know writing down names on orders as we as we move so we did one show yesterday before pickleball and that was everything on that table there's like three Ikea bags full of stuff everything under there those two sets of Star Wars like there's like four action figures and here I'll show you. Each one has four figures and a little mini poster in the back. And Dalton found all five episodes. It was a one, two, three, four, five, or six episodes. And each one of these bundles sold for two hundred and I think two hundred and fifty nine dollars plus shipping exactly. But there's one listed, this complete bundle listed on eBay for a thousand bucks. None sold, but a thousand dollars. So I feel like that was pretty cool. So that's five hundred dollars and stuff just in those things. We've got a whole bit of stuff here, a whole bit of stuff here all this stuff under the table and then after pickleball and the mexican restaurant which we hope drew's keys are located there we sold all of this stuff as well and even after both of these whatnot auctions we still have an entire entire warehouse filled with items i am going to film a video this next week going over this this hall the action figure in disney in disney hall talking about how much stuff we've sold roughly so i can go back on whatnot and see how many items we've sold in each show but some of the items that we sold are bundles so it could be a rough rough idea of how many items we sold and a rough idea of how much profit we've made on this haul after fee shipping and all that stuff so stay tuned for that video and there we have it folks full gumball chart updated dalton did make a little boo boo right there but uh once we sell four more gumballs we can go ahead and finish coloring that in so pretty good. I think we're almost a third of the way there. <laughs> Maybe like 25% of the way to our break-even cost. Was this gumball machine a bad idea? I don't think so. Was it a good idea? I also don't think so. I also want to show you guys these two Rothies. So earlier in today's video, we found this, this pair, because that nice lady gave us one, then we found the match. And then I said that this other pair we found like two videos ago were fake, but Dalton is the shoe guru. And he, uh, you know, he's not, nothing's ever 100% certain, but he took a look, look at these and said that he doesn't think they're fake. I was worried because these have that little Rothy logo and these don't. Uh, and these, like the Rothy's font on this one is slightly thinner. But he said this is just a newer, like different model. And they also discontinued making the Rothy's logo on the new model. So in his opinion, he's a professional shoe reseller. He thinks these are also real. So these are definitely real and we're like, 
90% sure, 95% sure these are real. Do you think we can get Rothy's checked on Check Check? I don't think you can. I don't think so. If anybody knows of an authentication service for Rothy's, definitely let us know. But either way, these are pretty cool. I think we can probably get, what, like maybe like 60, 65 bucks for these? Yeah. Something like that. And probably about the same for those as long as we can prove they're real. Oh, hey, Mose. I didn't even know you were out here. Come here. Come here. Say hello to everybody. Hey, baby. This is your second video in a row. You have a little cameo in it. Oh, you're so nice. We even sat down just to get some scratches. So as I was editing today's video, I realized that we had $22 worth of quarters in our gumball machine. And for some reason, I just thought it was 20 when we were coloring in the chart. So I added two more gumballs, the little orange one right there, and the, I think that green one right there. So this is what the chart looks like. Gotta make sure you guys are fully updated on this. Also, I've told you that we sold some stuff since the last video that is part of our house flip, and I have to go over that. So I think we've sold like five things at our antique booth that were part of the house flip. So first we sold the second of the two white ceramic pumpkins from the, I think the last video. Second one also sold for $10, which left us with $9 after fees. We sold one more of those South Carolina metal trays, those black like metal trays with like the old South Carolina map. We had four and we put one at a time in our booth. So this is our second one we sold. That one sold for $5, leaving us with $4.50 after fees. We sold the jug that we got in today's video. Uh, we actually put that in the booth like, I don't know, like four or five days ago whenever we originally filmed it. And that sold for $6, leaving us with $5.40 after fees, we sold the salt and pepper shakers, the little green gourds from today's video. Uh, those sold for $4, leaving us with $3.60 after fees. And we sold the two glasses, like those uh, two crystal like drinking glasses. Those those were from like four or five videos ago. I'm surprised those sold, actually. I was gonna drop the price on them. Oh, well, I guess I did drop the price because they sold for $6. I think I originally put them at 10. So we dropped them six. They sold, leaving us with $5.40 after fees. So I think that was everything we sold at the booth that was part of the house split, but we also sold a couple things on eBay. Actually, just one thing on eBay, but it was a very good sale. So if you guys remember, we went to Play It Again Sports to sell that tennis bag like two videos ago. And while we were there, I bought that long belly vintage ping putter for $14.99. So I think it was, I don't know, like 16 bucks or so after, after taxes. We already took the money out of the house budget. And that sold on eBay for $99 plus shipping. The buyer was all in $120. Uh, and 84 cents. And then after shipping fees and all that stuff, we were left with $79 and 41 cents uh, going back into the house budget. So really nice. Uh, we've bought and sold stuff from Plato's Closet in the past, but never something that significant in terms of profit, which some, in the past has been like, spend $20 to make 40, not spending 15 to make 80. So really nice flip there. And we also did a quick whatnot show just with plush that we've gotten in the house flip budget over the last several videos. If you guys remember in the last video, we got a ton at the regular Goodwill, like the Mario Kart red shell, new with tags, the little whale guy from Finding Dory. It, we got like 15 or 20 plush from that one and then several in today's video as well. So in that whatnot show we did like almost a week ago, we sold 15 plush total. Uh, I mean, they went anywhere as low as $8, as high as $31. So anywhere up in there. And then after fees, shipping, and all that stuff, we we're left with $203.14 from that show. If there are any HVAC professionals in the chat, this is our little mini split H H H A AC unit <laughs> that we have for the warehouse. And we turn it on hot, I think. We push the button that has a picture of the sun, uh, and it's really cold. It's like 30 degrees outside right now, and it's probably like 40 degrees in here. So any tips? Why is it, it's on sun mode? Why is it not sun? Haley, any final uh, words for today's video? I don't think so. We have a lot you to ship. <laughs> I have been talking a lot. Thank you guys so much for today's for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already, and we'll catch you guys on the next Bye, one. Guys.